In this tutorial, I want to talk about how to make uh, MIDI connections with Chord Maestro. Chord Maestro actually uses MIDI commands to control uh, the synchronization with an external click track. And by click track, I mean uh, a DAW, a DAW, which stands for Digital, Auto Work Digital Audio Workstation. And this could be Sonar or Logic. Um, there's a variety of programs that you can use, and most of them support the features that we need to be able to communicate with Chord Maestro. Um, the uh, MIDI interface uh, was established probably early 80s, and essentially you can think of it as it's a protocol that allows um, different uh, musical events to be transmitted quickly uh, between devices. And by events, I mean... Uh, an event uh, in an abstract way would just be like, you know, play the, the note uh, middle C for two seconds uh, and hit it with medium velocity. So it's basically a set of commands that can be sent to a keyboard or some other device that tells it to uh, play different notes. Well, you can also use that same protocol for... Uh, synchronization between devices. So if we have several devices all chained together and we want to basically keep them in sync, uh, we use something called MIDI time code, which allows us to one master device to tell all these slave devices uh, what the current time is. And so that's what we're using to synchronize Chord Maestro here. And in the same way, we're using uh, a different set of uh, MIDI events to allow us to connect a foot pedal or an iPad or a iPhone that will allow us to uh, remotely control the navigation through a document. So both of these things are configured up here in the options panel. So under MIDI configuration, this MIDI time code source, this is uh, essentially going to be coming from our click track, the the synchronization source and that we just have to configure our um, our click track to send the MIDI time code so that we can capture it and just as an example let me open up sonar and show you where that is in, in sonar here we go okay so whoop, previous project so in sonar we go to edit preferences and scroll down to Project MIDI, and you can see here we've got a checkbox that basically tells it whether or not we want to transmit MIDI time code. And uh, we, we have it checked here. We just have to make sure that it is selected. Otherwise, it'll, it'll play back the song in sonar, but it won't send out the synchronization commands that we need to be able to do recording in Chord Maestro. The other thing we have to do is just to make sure that we have the appropriate um, MIDI uh, output port selected. So I've got a MIDI output port called Sonar Send that I'm using to send all of the MIDI time code events. And I'll show a little bit more detail on what that's all about in a few minutes. But So basically there's two setup pieces. We've got the, the, the Sonar side or the uh, the click track side that we have to make sure that it's sending out the synchronization messages. And then on the Chord Maestro side, we have to make sure that we're actually receiving those messages. So I have another uh, input source defined as Chord Maestro Receive that I'm using to receive the commands from the click track. So those are all set up there. And uh, for the navigation control, like if I was going to use a foot pedal or iPhone or an iPad to control this thing, uh, there's another uh, MIDI source that I want to select for that. Um, and so we just have to make sure we've, we've got that uh, configured on, on both sides so that we're receiving the um, appropriate uh, messages. All right, so enough of that. So I'm actually using a, uh, some open source technologies to uh, facilitate um, the communication between my uh, between Sonar, my my Click Track, and and Chord Maestro. I just want to point out a couple of those right now. These aren't included directly with Chord Maestro, but they're easy to get online. Uh, the first one is this uh, RTP MIDI, and the other one is called is DS uh, MIDI Wi-Fi. 
Let me just open up the websites for those. Okay, so this RTP MIDI is a tool that allows you to transmit MIDI events over a network, and so you can create virtual uh, MIDI input and output for ports. Uh, apparently, this is a an existing uh, feature of the Mac OS. So uh, Macintosh, you don't even need to install this because it's it already has this type of tool uh, set up. So inside of this tool, I just open up RP, RTP MIDI. I can configure a set of sessions, and you notice these are uh, the same input ports that I was using in Chord Maestro and in Sonar. So the idea is I can I can set these up and uh, just by using the add button here and I can give it a, a name and enable it automatically assign it to a port and what I want to do then is just uh, create uh, kind of a uh, two two channels one uh, for the click track and one for chord maestro so from uh, from the click track I've got a channel called sonar send and then I have one called Control My, uh, Chord Maestro Receive. And once I start these up, I can then just add, connect those two together, basically. So you see Sonar Send is connected to Chord Maestro Receive. Chord Maestro Receive is connected to Sonar Send. So that allows them to communicate. Um, one mistake that I made early on was trying to use a single, uh, a single port for both Chord Maestro and the click track. Um, for some reason that doesn't work and I'm, I haven't dug deep enough to figure out why I'm sure there's a simple example or a simple reason why it doesn't work. But uh, basically you just want to have one, uh, one for sending and one to receive and then you just want to connect them together and then it works great. And the sonar send is the one that I selected here. My preference is MIDI. So I've got Sonar Send there. Uh, once once you add it, Sonar automatically detects that as a new port. And then in Chord Maestro, I've got uh, Chord Maestro Receive. If I add a new one here, um, one of the issues that I, I have yet to fix with Chord Maestro is that uh, you have to actually close the Chord Maestro program and reopen it in order for it to detect. It's not slick enough yet to... to pick it up on the fly. All right, so then in the same way I've got uh, controller send and controller receive. So this controller send is basically going to capture any input events that let's say I was going to send from my iPhone or my iPad. And then this controller receive is what I'm using on the Chord Maestro side to pick up That's my navigation controller navigation control source. So I get control receive here. All right. So then let's say that I want to use my iPhone or iPad to control my um, uh, my navigation. In order to do that, I'm actually going to be using a different uh, or an additional piece of, of open source software called DS MIDI Wi-Fi, which is also available online. And uh, you can actually get it for um, both Windows and Mac and, and Unix, so it's uh, very nice. And uh, this is just a, a free download. We put install this, and then um, the other piece of this is like on your iPhone or iPad, you can download a, a very cheap app, uh, one of these listed here, like this AC wireless DAW control AG7 wireless, and you can grab some of these, and they're just they're just in available in the App Store for your iPhone. And you grab those, and then you can essentially control uh, Chord Maestro from an iPhone or an iPad. So let's open up this. So once I have that uh, installed, once I have the, the iPhone or iPad app installed, then I just open up this DS MIDI Wi-Fi. And then I've got a set of input ports and a set of output ports. So for input ports, I just want to choose my controller uh, send. And over here, I also want to choose controller send. And so what that's going to do, the, the iPhone app actually is going to automatically connect um, to this DS Wi-Fi MIDI. And whenever I trigger 
a uh, MIDI event using uh, my my app on my iPhone or iPad. It'll send it through here, and then that this uh, DS MIDI Wi-Fi will trigger uh, the event through this controller send output, which then is um, going to send it through the controller receive, which then is received by Chord Maestro, allowing us to navigate control control the navigation through the document. So that's um, how we can use some open source tools to facilitate communications uh, remotely. Uh, obviously, you can have you can buy a uh, foot controller, a MIDI foot controller on Amazon. Um, from anywhere to like 50 or, or 80 bucks, or actually they can be very expensive depending on how um, how fancy you want them to be. Um, if you have a foot controller, then it's just a matter of, of plugging it in to the computer and then selecting it from the list of uh, navigation control sources. Um, so that's that's pretty straightforward. I'm just showing you these other options so that you can, uh, if you wanted to use an iPhone or an iPad to control, you could. Um, as I mentioned, this RTP MIDI, this, uh, if you're running Chord Meister on a Mac, you don't have to install this. It actually, if you go to the uh, MIDI configuration uh, in Mac OS, you'll see a very uh, similar screen that allows you to do exactly the same thing that you're doing here. So this, this RTP MIDI is only required if you're running on, on Windows. Okay, and this DS Wi-Fi MIDI, you can get this on a Mac. I believe it uh, is supported, and I know it's supported on Unix and, and Windows as well. Okay, so that covers some uh, details of how to make connections in Chord Maestro to give you some different options of how to uh, control and, and synchronize with the click track.